to be grounded during these times how are you doing have you been checking in with yourself praying for our well-being and strength hold on allow the spiritual warfare to keep pushing you close to god i'm learning to fight for my life and right mind on the daily it is a conscious practice dedication devotion, discipline. And some days, you may feel like bah humbug. (laughs) Then it's time to get some rest, darling. Lay your butt on down and ask for some good sleep to reset and recharge. All right, y'all. Release the fear-based energy that's leaking and lurking all in the air. I woke up feeling good, though, today. Release the fear by claiming victory in your God-given destiny. You know, I had got a little weary, and I had to own it. And, you know, when you are in this world, not of this world, and you witness a lot of things, you need some healing. You need some strength. 
you know, in this wacky world and ask for it. Ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. <sighs> that song, Running From My Doom, that I played in the beginning, the Caribbean vibes and positive affirmations in that song, it has a way of reminding me to be kind to myself. Don't be so hard on myself. Focus on living and being free in mind, body, and spirit. It calibrates me back into alignment with the divine. And I hope it helps you in some type of way. You know, when I started my awakening journey, that was about seven years ago. I was catapulted into my mediumship, spiritual gifts, through a tragedy, through the loss of my nephew. My sis needed some help with my mediumship abilities, and I had to step into it. By the grace of God, I was called into it. And some of you may be feeling tried, tested, going through all types of trials and tribulations. But there is triumph. Just keep walking through it. Keep pressing through it. God always leads you to triumph. And some people may not understand my journey. Some people may not understand your journey. Some people may not understand my gifts. Some people may not understand your gifts. It is already all right. It's okay. That's their issue. It's not your problem. It really isn't. It's about owning who you are and knowing who you are. Who are you in God's identity? Shoot, I have been at some point in time before, you know, when I was in my awakening journey years ago. Like, why did I question? <laughs> some people might question, why she chosen? <laughs> why he chosen? I had even questioned, like, why I chose this soul path? And I always get the same answer, you know why. It's in your bloodline. It's your divine birthright. It's who you are. So just be who you are. Message. That's what somebody. I never understood why they say Jesus is coming back. I see it as he never left. Honey, boom, boom. Christ's light and consciousness is residing on the inside of you. On the inside of all of us, whoever choose to use it. Keep dedicating time to work with Holy Spirit to save you from any limiting beliefs and destructive patterns that are holding you back. You know, our elder brother, Jesus, Yeshua, the Lord, he is a teacher and healer. And when you access the Holy Spirit within, when you devote some time to that, the presence of the Lord is near. Open your heart up to receive guidance and protection from a host of higher dimensional beings. They are waiting to assist you with your soul path. Spirit is inclusive, meaning angels ancestors, spiritual guides are inclusive. You know, we have an entourage of spiritual support as a spiritual being having a human experience. Acknowledge that. Get to know your spiritual crew and they will help you get through. What's that song by oh yeah, that song just came to me by the Clark Sisters. I think it's called Broken to Minister. God created me to come through. That's for somebody. God created you to come through. Don't give up. Keep holding on. Keep the faith. I know it feels like they won't leave you alone. Who are they? People, places, things, spirits, the enemy, the devil can be considered as they. 
The ebb and flow of life is kick, kicking your arse. But you're a winner. You may be weary, but you know where to go for rest. It is reaping season for the good and bad you have put out into the universe. Those who won't leave you alone and keep sowing wickedness. They have been given many chances by the Most High to do right by you. By no, but no, they refuse to stop. And you keep rising above it all. Everything is recorded and reported back to God. Keep rising above it all. What did I hear? Um, it's karma is law. I think that's from Florence Scovelshin. But yes, karma is law. It's not God's vengeance. It's the law <laughs> that's spreading that vengeance. It's the comeback energy. That's what com karma is. It's the comeback energy. Okay? Your light is blinding them. And they are running in fright. My melting. I'm melting. I kept hearing that. And you know that's from the Wizard of Oz. The Wicked Witch. <laughs> I told y'all my spiritual crew got a, a sense of humor. Oh, my goodness. So I just went and looked it up. You know, just I know that just part of my research mind. And she was like, why did you? That's when Dorothy threw water on her. Why did you do that? I'm melting. I'm melting. That's my own dramatical way. This here. That dark magic Wicked witch magic, dark energies, dark spirits, devil energy, whatever it is that's being pushed or projected onto you is backfiring. But those who came to steal your life force, destroy your mind, and kill your spirit, you ain't got to say return to sender. What they, what they have already done has already been done to them. We can't control what others do, but what we can do is control ourselves. This is about mastering self-control. And I know sometimes you want to choke a mofo. And I know sometimes you want a mofo to kick rocks and kick the H the hell away from you. <laughs> Look, take care of yourself. Set healthy boundaries. We just in a time where you just have to have discernment. You got to know who's for you and who's against you. And that's in every at in every different aspect of life. Using your discernment. That's key. All right, y'all. We're going to ride out to this track, Born in Zion. I just want to check in with you, send you some encouragement your way. Keep your head up. If needed, look away. Step away. Walk away for your healing. If it is not giving you peace, release. If it's not giving you peace, release. Forgive. Learn how to forgive yourself and others. Ask for help with that if you're having trouble. Because it's for you to walk lighter and brighter on your path. You are a light, spiritual being having a human experience in this dark world. So continue to be light. That's what God has called you to be. And listen... Listen to the answers. You have to go into the stillness. You have to be still with God to get the answers you need. And it ain't going to always come right away. Be patient and wait on divine timing. Remember, you were created by our creator in Zion to be creative and productive. This is the kingdom of heaven, the most high refuge for all children of God.
You can have heaven or hell on earth. It is a consciousness you choose. Your choice always. There is always access to this sacred place on earth by devoting time to be filled with the Spirit of God and His presence. Keep the faith, y'all. I heard through the grapevine you can look back, but keep moving forward. Be well. Be resilient. Be love. Be light. Love you. Peace.